so I'm joined by Dave Titterton, the uh, double Mr. Universe in NABA, and as you can see, he's, uh, he's a pretty big guy. So, Dave, nice to see you, nice and see you. Uh, can you just tell me a bit more why you're here? Uh, I'm here just representing uh, my sponsors, USN, um, Ultimate Sports Nutrition, um, just sort of brand awareness and basically come out to meet the fans. Uh, I'm as much as anything in this sport, I'm a, I'm a fitness industry and bodybuilding fan, so um, any of these sort of events I like to attend because I feel it's an opportunity to give back, uh, get out there and meet people. Normally I'm just stood on a stage waving rather than actually getting in amongst people, but yeah. Well, speaking about the stage, I mean, is there any future, com future competitions that you're actually aiming towards at the moment? Yeah, I actually make my professional debut in eight weeks, uh, the Pro Mr. Universe. Um, and then obviously next year I'll be very active. I'll be competing in the, NABA new, the new Pro Division, which is... You know, I mean, there were shows in United Arab Emirates, Dubai, uh, Saudi Arabia, Korea, Philippines. So I'll be very, very busy. Ten shows next year. <laughs> Ten shows? Ten shows next year. Wow, wow. Okay, so what actually took you into the industry? Why, uh, why bodybuilding? Uh, I kind of found bodybuilding by accident. I actually started life as a boxer. Um, and in 2000, and, at the end of 2003, I'd got a little bit of an injury. Um, I'd always gone to the gym to sort of do strength training to make myself strong for the ring. But... I went to the gym to rehabilitate a little bit of an injury around my knee um, and the gym owner said, oh, you've got really good genetics, you should compete. Um, so eight weeks later, I sort of entered my first show. Um, I didn't know anything about first timers or novices. I jumped straight into the class one, which is the heavyweights, and I won it and won the overall. Um, from there, five weeks later, I finished top five in the British Championships and sort of took off from there. Wow, well, we, can, we can all see that you've come a long way since then. Yeah. I mean, um, see in terms of the show today then, um, what do you think of it so far? I think, to be quite honest, I think the more, I, as the industry is growing, these things are, are coming up everywhere. And I think that's a great thing because it's taking it to the community. Kids that wouldn't normally have a, a chance and opportunity to see people like myself, the strongman events and things like that, or learn about nutrition and supplementation and just general healthy living are getting that opportunity at events like this. Um, so I think it's great to get out there and sort of spread the word, as well as sort of attract hardened fans as well. So, yeah, it's, it's a good opportunity, yeah. Well, it's a pretty obvious question, next one, but what's the kind of main, main event that you'll be looking forward to over the course of two days? Well, believe it or not, I'm, I'm presenting at the bodybuilding show tomorrow night, but I am actually quite looking forward to the strongman event as well. I, I always quite like watching those, yeah. Um, I'm assuming that you would incorporate a lot of strongman kind of exercises into your routine? To some degree. Um, I mean, the basic compound lifts we use are very, very similar, but obviously the guys do a lot of specialized training. Um, I'm just basically built to look pretty <laughs> whereas these guys are you know i mean are moving a hell of a lot of weight uh, around but yeah I'm, I'm actually looking forward to that and to be fair i'm looking forward to the mma fights tonight as well that's from your fighting background obviously then yeah absolutely i, I mean i was just a boxer i'd got no ground game at all so <laughs> but, but uh, i always find it very interesting to see him well dear thanks for talking to us thank you no problem. No problem. All right. nice